Hi guys, welcome to Paris. So this is my first time even getting my makeup done in Paris. So immediately she takes me to this private room and she literally holds me down on this chair. You know those chairs that you go to the dentist and you sit on? It was a bit like that. Um, that sponge that you just saw that she wiped my face with, with water or whatever that liquid was, absolutely smell completely, it was just, it was horrific, it was, it was really, really disgusting, I really don't even know how I kept a straight face. Okay, so here I remember feeling like she was being really, really rough with, with how she was applying. The moisturizer here. Um, it just kind of worked with me, but. So she continues to be really, really rough. Like, I don't know if it's just because she was being heavy handed, but it really didn't feel great. I don't know if it's because I am tanned, my body's tanned, but my face isn't, but she felt the need to color correct my whole face, which nobody has ever done. Um, so, yeah, I don't even know if that's even, like, a thing to colour correct someone's whole face. I, like, I get people use colour corrector for under their eyes to correct their eye bags, but she used it for the whole of my face. So anyway, while she was blending that all in, I just had to sit there and, um, yeah, literally feel like a punching bag, and that's putting it politely. Easy! I'm not really sure on the shade of this foundation. I mean, it kind of, to me, was very orangey. It just had a lot of, like, undertones of orange. And that's, like, I just hate that type of undertones. I just don't want to go for the orange look. Um, yeah, I just kind of felt like here I was, like, halfway to looking like a tangerine I almost had a heart attack when I saw the nose contour, okay? First of all, why does my nose look that big? My nose is not that big, okay? She has literally managed to make it look so wide. Like, I feel like I have three nostrils. And for those of you who think that, oh no, she'll, she'll blend that out, yeah, don't worry, I thought that too. Um, but no, this is actually her patting everything down and making sure that it's all cemented into my pores. As she's going in with the highlighter palette, she realises that nothing is coming off the brush, so she's using her fingers instead, um, 
but I really think, because it looks like a really, really nice palette, I think it's just because she's maybe using the wrong brush, like you don't use that type of brush or highlighter, so she's not really giving the product, a, you know, a chance to work. My eyebrows are dark, but they're definitely not black. So the fact that she's mixing the black and the brown, I don't know why she would do that. I mean, I get maybe she wanted to like mix them together to like create like some dark brown colour, but I just, I just, black is just a no-go, it's just a no-go. Aside from the colour, I don't even know what to even say about these eyebrows. I mean, they look like how I would do them when I was in high school. I am all for making a profit, okay? I get that she's a makeup artist and she needs to make a living. But the fact that she's literally scraping the last bit of the white eyeshadow like look at where she's scraping it from from the bottom left right there um when she's got other palettes okay she's got other palettes i've seen them in the box that she could be using she really must love this specific white shimmer for her to be scraping that pan um yeah. Aside from that, I think the eyeshadow looks quite okay. I mean, they are safe colours, but you know they work quite. It works quite well. Even if she did use the cheaper makeup palette on me when she had other makeup palettes in her box, but hey. I remember looking at myself at this very moment and thinking to myself this could potentially be the ugliest that I've ever looked with makeup on. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would So she uses like some weird crossover between like those wooden toothpicks, do you know what I'm talking about? Um, and like it also looks like a matchstick, like I, I, I really don't know if this is actually like a professional tool so please do correct me if I am wrong but I don't really think it is so I don't know I actually think it's actually quite dangerous that she's even using this on my eye because it, it was pretty sharp.
I was scared when she came out with the mascara because already these lashes are pretty big so I just thought oh my god she's gonna intensify them and make them so dark but luckily it didn't turn out that bad. So she asked me if the lipstick colour is okay and I just kind of looked down and thought it was pink which is fine um, and a pretty standard universal colour that most makeup artists I think have in their bag but then I looked at the actual lipstick tip and it literally looks like it's been chewed off by her dog. Do you know what I mean? Like what the hell happened to that lipstick? I want to know. <laughs> She then gets a second colour and applies this lip gloss on me and she like is poking me with it, like giving me jabs with it. I didn't really get that. But then she comes back and puts a third lipstick gloss, lip gloss thing on me and does the same thing. I don't know if she was trying to do that ombre effect with the lips, but yeah, I mean, all the lip colours just kind of merged all into one, so it was pretty pointless really, I don't really get why she did that. That's a new look. That's a new look. So at this point, the makeup artist asks me to get up um, and I thought it was finished. Um, so you hear me say um, in a minute, thank you. So she broke her brush when it fell, but I guess the handle part came off so look at it it's like it's broken it's only the brush tip that's that she's holding it by um so that's really lovely to know that the brush literally fell where the footpath is so everyone's dirty shoes are gonna be put on my face she's rubbing it nice and slowly all across my face at the moment. You can see the other part of the handle is in is in her other hand where she's holding the compact. See so that that's really a lovely way to finish off this makeup look. Hello. Je paye maintenant ici ou je paye euh, euh... Euh, Non, juste par liquide. Ouais, merci. Ouais. Bon, on y va. Mmh. Moi, j'étais trop bleu. Ça, c'est plus discret, c'est mieux. Oui. 
really see myself. But at least, do you know what? At least it's like, um, yeah. So at least um, it's like the colours are like. Wait, hold on a second. Um, at least, wait, hold on a second. Right. At least the um, the colours are like nude, so it doesn't look like doesn't like stick out like a sore thumb. Um, but it's. Like, have you seen my nose contour? She made my nose look more bigger than it actually is. I don't have that big of a nose, and she's actually managed to make my nose, like, bloody huge. Um, yeah, I mean, these are like the cheapest lashes. I can't complain, because it was pretty cheap. It was, how much was it? It was 30 euros, I think. Yeah, 30 euros. Um, so yeah. Everyone's staring at me. Um, I don't know. What? Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. <laughs> okay, so I just stopped on a quiet street to look at my makeup here, but it was only till I saw the footage that I realised that there was a foundation line on my forehead, and I didn't even notice that. I think because the sun was just beaming that day. But I was literally walking around Paris with like the foundation line from where the, f the headband was that she had put on me um, but luckily I guess it wasn't I mean, hopefully that noticeable that people you know would have from afar would have seen but still it, it was embarrassing that I was just walking around Paris like that and I, even, I didn't even notice um, and more importantly the makeup artist didn't even notice herself when she took the headband off me like from here you can clearly see where my head, my forehead starts and where, you know, like, oh god, um, but oh well. Well thank you to all of you who are subscribed to my channel, it really does mean a lot that you subscribe to my channel, so thank you so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.